you know, what's up, guys? Mike here. <clears throat> we'll be doing a review over Marlboro 83s. I've tried to do this review a couple times, but they just I just keep messing up on them. And the last review I tried, it was uh, the dang filter came off the cigarette, so that was the second time it's happened to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour one out. I think this is the one that I had. Oh, yep. Alright. Here's a cigarette, Marble 83. It's pretty, this is a Marble Red. It's just different pack design, is what I've heard. Just a different pack design, just sideways. Uh, you know, Philip Morris makes all Marlboro, certain general warning. This is a fire safety cigarette. But, see, I got it packed down just a bit in there. So I'll get a taste of that paper. You know, it's Marlboro Red. I've had Marlboro Red before. The paper doesn't separate from the filter that much. It's just a little bitty. Then over here, you can see Marlboro on there. So, I'm going to light it up. Paper has a, not that bad of a paper flavor. You know, usually cigarettes have a really, you know, chemical flavor. But this one doesn't. It's just, you know, it's never good. Paper, uh, taste of paper never good, but, you know, it wasn't bad. It is bringing off a lot of smoke. So... So yeah, like I said, these are marble red. They're just a tiny bit longer. Like maybe a centimeter, maybe not even a centimeter longer, but they're just a little bit longer than a marble red. But they're the exact same thing. So I'm gonna do a take a try and get a full body of this. See how much of a body it has. Nice body. Has a real nice body on that. Big full body. So yeah, real good body on that. Uh, we're going to take a regular drag now. Just regular drag down to the lungs and see if it has a kick to it. A little bit of harshness, but <clears throat> you know, it's not bad. It's just a little bit, which is what a marble red always has. Just a little bit, not a a lot of harshness, just a little bit of harshness on there. Oh. A little bit of smoke in my eye. Suck when you do that. Uh, now I'm going to uh, get a big inhale and I'm going to pull it down to the bottom of my lungs and see if it has any pins and needles to it and any kick. No pins and needles, just a little bit of that harshness in the throat, just a little bit. No big deal. I want to give it a flick test. Hopefully it doesn't break this time the filter. Like right here, right where it ends, it always just breaks off. It's done that twice already. So I'm going to give it a flick test. Nice. Nice cone. Real nice. Even burn on there real nice real nice and give it a blow test nice it's really good so I'm gonna give the pack 8 out of 10 because the packs are real it's real it's real cool looking because it's sideways <clears throat> uh, cigarette I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10 really good cigarette really nice I was thinking about giving it a 10 because it's really good but I'll give it a nine. Uh, so overall, about an eight and a half, nine out of ten. So I'd go out and get you one, cause you know if you if you smoke Marlboro Reds, these are Marlboro Reds. They're just longer. So if you want that more, a little bit more tobacco in your cigarettes, get these, because these are a little bit longer than Marlboro Reds. So yeah, 
Real good cigarette. Really good. Really good. I really like these. <clears throat> I got a little bit. I have some in there left for later. Oh, yeah. Cowboys. It's not that windy out here, so it's pretty good. If you're construction over there, they're working on a house. Like I said, my Marlboro Mexican Gold cigarettes, you know, they're just over there working on a house behind me. So, yeah, guys. This has been Mikey here. Marlboro 83s. Go out and get you some. They are really good. Uh, and peace out, guys. See ya.